What's up, TJ gang? Gang, gang, gang in this thing. It's your girl Tish back with another video. I know it's been forever. Like, I've been missing in action. Like, whoo, y'all. I just had to take some time out to get myself together. Like, mental health is everything. And sometimes you just need to, like, take time to sit back and figure shit out. <laughs> so, I just been going through some my own little self love my self little evaluations, I guess you wanna say. Cause somewhere down the line, like I have I lost myself. I lost my self motivation. I lost my drive. Like and I was just struggling to get it back. And I'm just like, how can I get it back? How can I find me again? How can I get back to my passion? Like and just just getting up and getting shit done. So I think I'm finally out of it. Finally have it figured out. Like it's still a work in progress. Not gonna lie. But um, but I had I actually been thinking about some new things to do with the YouTube. Like I think I want. Well, I'm gonna say I think I am. I am going to change. I'm gonna change the name from Kicking It with TJ. It was like the Kicking It with TJ was just like a name that just popped out and was just like, oh well, look, let's name it Kicking It with TJ. Like, yeah, come kick it with TJ, but I don't really feel like that's us. Like, I don't know. So I think I'm probably, I've been thinking about just changing it to our name, just Tish and Wine. Y'all still gonna be TJ gang forever, you know? Gang, 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 you know what I'm But yeah, I definitely think that kicking it with TJ is gonna get out the window. But uh, comment, let me know what y'all think about that. But Jay did the sweetest thing yesterday, y'all. Like, um, I say my little funk started in June, the beginning of June. Like, if y'all don't know, if you new here, <laughs> a little history. Like, my dad passed away. My daddy passed away in 2018 or whatever. And uh, so it's just like, you know, every now and again, you know, a little grief just jump in and be like, hello, I'm here today. Let's just mope around today. Oh, let's mope around for the next week. Oh, let's mope around for two weeks. Oh, let's mope around for a month. Like... And it's like, once I'm there, it's a fight getting up out of it. But I feel like the new changes that's happened in my life, it kind of made it harder for me to get up off of, out of it. Because it's like, before I can go through my little griefing moment, but I can just jump back out of it. Because like, I had things around, like not saying that my family don't distract me from that, but it's like, I was working then. Uh, so I'm going to work. I was going out with my friends. So I'm going out with my friends. I like I just I just had stuff going on. I was busy, so it was easy for me to get up out of that funk or whatever. So it's like now stay at home, mama. Uh, <laughs> I would fiance like I love and stuff, but it was just like I didn't ha have those distractions to just get me out and get me away. It's like my life is different now. I can't just hop out, hop up, and just go out with my friends. I can't just hop up and just go take a trip like life is just different so uh it was just like i just had been struggling with finding me because you know somewhere when you in this type of lifestyle somewhere you get caught up in you know i gotta do this for my family i gotta do you need to be family 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 and you forget about yourself and like they could just make you Legit, like love my family to death, wouldn't trade it for nothing. But it's just like you know, you just gotta find that balance between being a mama, being a fiance, and myself or whatever. So you know what we working on now, cause it's like our um, I'm not gonna say our support system. I say our babysitter. Like at first we had babysitters on deck for love, so we were still able to keep that balance of getting out and having a uh, time just with each other outside of being parents or whatever. So it's like, now it's different. We don't have that no more. So it's like, <laughs> we always here with love. The only time we can get some free time is if one of us is doing something. And that's very weird. Like, yeah, we, we can't even like sit up under each other. But yeah, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I like to get out here and there, but it's like at the same time, I just be wanting to be at home with him or whatever. But yeah, it's just, just yeah, it's a struggle with getting up out of that. But, uh, so, yesterday, no, okay, no, back, 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 I'm going back. Okay, so like I said, my little funk started beginning of June, and I knew why 
because uh father's day was coming up so i knew you know i'm like oh my daddy not here another father's day without him or whatever but it was like father's day had came here went and y'all we had a great father's day i had surprise one oops jay sorry him be wanting to film it on here but sorry <laughs> but uh i had surprised him with a winery trip and it was one of those ones we had rode on like a skylight or whatever y'all it was beautiful like such an amazing experience like i definitely want to do it again so i had a great day on father's day but it was like father's day came and went and i was just still just stuck in this funk so i'm just like dang how can i get out of this like what's going on so you know i just was like okay i need to i need to get more girl time like i need to make time for them times like but just to do some with my friends you know just to let loose a little bit not let loose like that but you know just get out and just <laughs> have my me time that's the word i'm looking for and then i at least want me and jay to get back to at least having us a day night once a month at least get back to that but i know it's hard and i understand our life is different now like we didn't have a little baby before so we didn't have to worry about babysitters and stuff but now life is different and we just gotta figure it out and we're gonna figure it out so yesterday, uh, you know, I was kind of in a little funk. Well, okay, so my funk had left. Like, all last week, y'all, I was great. I ain't have no funky vibe at all. But it was just all of a sudden, yesterday, I just found myself back in that funk. And uh, Jay was at work, and he just came home, and he was like, well, no, first, okay, so we got this book we write in. Y'all can see reason. I ain't trying to get too close, because y'all, my heart is a mess. But, uh reasons i want to marry you so back when i had bought jay his uh engagement ring i had bought this book his ring and some socks they said um groom uh i feel like i had something else in there and about but um we got this book so you know every now and again we'll just come and we'll just write each other little cute notes like we're dated put little cute notes in it or whatever and we just are leaving in our little spot and so when it's open we know the one have wrote a note to us so we go reading you know like right back or whatever so yesterday i just woke up and i just was like okay let me do a mental health check mental health check-in with my man like let me see where his head is and let me let him know where my head is because like y'all with me i get so caught up in being superwoman so i get so caught up in i'm okay it's okay it's all right I'm good. It's good. Everything's fine. Like everything is great. It's rainbows and peaches and cream everywhere. So I get so caught up in there, y'all. But I'm still learning how to say I'm not okay. <laughs> I, I I I'm just not. Like I'm still working on doing that, whatever. So yesterday I woke up. I'm like, let me do a mental health health check in with my man. So you know, I just wrote in a book and i'm just like mental health check-in and i just ask him questions i'm just like you know how you feeling uh what are the things that's bothering you what do you think could be improved what are your five month goals or whatever and then you know next page i just wrote mine so jay didn't even read these things yet when he came in i wrote this yesterday morning so of course you know he got home yesterday evening so i'm sitting on the couch and he was just like what's wrong Y'all, I just bust out crying. I just bust out crying. He like, why are you crying? I'm like, I don't know. He like, you crying for something? Don't nobody just bust out crying for no reason or whatever. So this, he was like, you missing your daddy? Like, what's wrong? So I'm just like, that's a part of it. But I'm like, I just don't feel self motivated. I just lost my drive and I don't know how to get it back. And I'm like, I be wanting to do this and do that and i just can't find the energy to just get up and just get it done to get up and just do it or whatever so um and then it's just you know how i was just talking like telling him like i just be wanting a break like i just be wanting us to just be able to just get a few hours and just be t and j like tj like just chill like how we used to do like i just be wanting that so, you know, we just sat there and we talked about that and had us a nice little night or whatever. So, y'all, yeah, I wakes up this morning. Uh, uh, so, I woke up and he was just like, go watch your little shows in the living room or whatever. And I'm like, I never got up. I just stayed here laying in the bed with him. So, he just kept, like, making little, um, 
little just saying things about basically insinuating like going to the living room or whatever so eventually i get up and yeah i looked at the tv and i just seen these three little cords like he just had them stuck into the tv i i recorded y'all so after this clip i'm gonna insert the video of me finding these and y'all gonna see what they say but y'all it was beautiful like get you a partner that that care about your happiness that want to motivate you that want to give you good words just pour into you because y'all my cup was overflowed this morning when i seen these cards and when i read these cards and then i know of course i came back to the book and i read his responses back in the book and i'm just like i just love him like god really did his thing when he brought that man into my life like oh my god words cannot express or describe the love that i have for him and how happy that he make me like y'all it's everything it's everything for somebody to just care just about your mental health and just care to just see you smile and make you smile and just do nice things for you because like th this is my love language right here like just a small little simple stuff to let me know that you care and that you hear me and that you listening like you understand those are the things that get me like people be wanting these gifts and be wine and dine and money and stuff all that stuff is replaceable this right here is irreplaceable like this is the, this is the type of thing that stands out to me like you can just write me a long letter and i would cry like a baby and i would cherish it forever put in my little stash of keepsakes like yeah i just love him he just makes me so happy and i just cannot waste even though I do it now, Mrs. Thomas. What's your name? Mrs. Thomas. I'm the missus. So, yeah, he definitely gave me the the motivation I needed to just get up and get back on my stuff. So, y'all, yeah, you two be looking out because I'm back. And I'm back with some bangers. And I'm back better than ever. Finna come to y'all with some heats. TikTok, kicking it with TJ. I'm going to change the name on her too, y'all. <laughs> of course, the link will be in the bio. Uh, so, stay tuned. But we got some skits coming. We got, I, I like pr pranks are, blah, yeah, I can't talk. I, yeah, I'm so thirsty. That's the problem. Uh, damn, my water not in here. But pranks are kind of like, I don't want to say cliche, but I don't know. I can still pull them off, but I'm going to still say pranks because I know I can still pull me a little prank here and there, but we got skits. We got pranks. We still got them story times coming from Jay. Like, and then, y'all, I, I got this video that I do want to uh, make. It's a um, how did we get here video. Like, let it all out. Like, stuff I never told anybody. Like, let it out, out. But definitely let us know what y'all want to see and what y'all want to hear. Because, y'all, I'm back. I'm back. I'm on this thing like I should have been on this thing in the beginning. I'm on it. I ain't playing. I'm coming for it. Coming for that YouTube plaque with them zero 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 comma 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 comma. You heard? Okay, but TJ gang, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, come kick it with TJ. Back with another banger, real soon. I'm y'all can uh y'all can hold me to that like I'm serious this time. Let me go feed this her up. Might be back with a new hair color. Hmm, you never know with me. But definitely stay tuned to the um so you can see what my little cord say. <laughs> My little bill review on my little cords. Then I'm finna date. Yep, I put the date on everything. So when I do go look back at it, I could be like, okay, that was this day and this time that this happened. But um, y'all was looking at my little journal, y'all, because I got a journal too. Hold on, I know I'm getting kind. Of, yeah, now I'm rambling. But this my journal. I write in my journal because I be feeling like I don't have friends that I can talk to about things that my real my feelings that i'm holding in deep down inside so i write in my journal but y'all know sometimes you just need that outlet like you just need that person to talk to like yeah i talk to jay about stuff i talk to my sister i talk to my mama but me i'm the type of person i gotta keep talking about it until i'm over it, until it get out of my system but not even just that it's just like you want friends that pour into you what you pour into them and i be feeling like i don't get the same compassion that i put 
and to others, I don't be feel like I get that back. Cause like me, you tell me some stuff, I'm sending you a whole little positive message, motivation message, encouragement, and I don't be feeling like I get that. I feel like I just get like LOLs or, oh, okay, or it's going to be a good, and that's, I don't be getting the responses that I want, so I just shut the hell up and just hold my stuff in and just talk to my mans about it, but yeah, but most definitely, y'all, okay, for real, for real this time, because I don't be trying to, uh, I said I want to start making my videos 20 minutes or less for now. But, okay, so right now we at 15 minutes. I'm finna insert the clip of my cords. <laughs> finna insert those. And like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Come kick it with TJ. Gang, 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 gang. This is why I just love my man. I haven't even flipped over the cords yet. But it's crazy because when, uh... I woke up. He was like, now go watch your stuff in the living room. But I never got up. Let's see. Now, first one. Ten reasons to smile. You're beautiful. You're a hell of a mother. You, you can really cook. You're a great friend. Even if you should. Uh, even if you should. And you're extremely nurturing. You overcome all the odds. Great taste and fashion. Understanding. Great listener. A real life superwoman. Just love him, y'all. What you should know. It's okay to cry. It's okay to, <laughs> to be hard on yourself. It's okay to need a break. It's okay to miss your pops. It's okay. Yeah, and it's just crazy because, like, you know, mental health is just important. So, it's like, I just bust out just crying randomly yesterday when Jay asked me what was wrong. And it's like, I didn't even know. But we just sat and just talked and I just woke up to this. I just love him, y'all. Get y'all a sequel because you can't have him. <laughs>